Hello YouTubers, Killin' Kim Part 1 with another Star Wars uh, video. This is the 12 inch Hasbro Saga Collection Zuckus action figure. He also does come with his blaster heavy assault rifle. Damn. This is the packaging, it says Empire Strikes Back Zuckus at the top. At the bottom we have the Star Wars logo and Luke Skywalker's hands and forearms holding his father's lightsaber. At the top we have another Star Wars logo and another pair of uh, Luke Skywalker's hands holding his father's lightsaber. A biography of Empire Strikes Back and a biography of the bounty hunter Zuckus. Here's all the other figures in the range. We have Django Fett, Zuckus, Imperial Officer and Dengar and it says collect them all. So there's the packaging. Zuckus is a highly trained bounty hunter at tracking and religious. His race is called a Gand. Also in Tales of the Bounty Hunter, him and his companion for Lum, which stands for for love of money his robotic companion which has a bug head just like him gonna look at the details first he has the silver meshed bug eyes he has his silver monstrous teeth with the mouth inside he has all these details and he's got this brownish skin type colour it's got some dark but it's like got like a yellow to it like a bronze he's got these wires coming out of his head all the way to his belt he's got this hardness and like stuff with, with his jacket and this is made out of a heavier leather type material quite big, he's got like different patterns and he's got boots, they also do have legal information, legal garb, as for articulation of a move, here we go, as for articulation he has swivel head, Ball hinged shoulders, double hinged elbows with a swivel bicep, swivel wrist, ball hinged or ball jointed waist, ball hinged hips, Barbie, Barbie type hinged knees where there's like the hinge inside but rubber covering it and swivel ankle and his coat is a light tattered beigeish brown it's got some detail also if I move his hand it's like a whitish greyish type colour Here's his blaster, it's a heavy assault rifle where it's got a brown handle, the trigger, the rest of it is silver, it's got this piece one there is the scope and the rest is the rifle 
don't know how we how it works, but it looks really cool. You can hold it double handed. So yeah, I really like this 12 inch figure. I do have the Darth Maul. Also fun fact is that he comes across a wrecked rebel ship on Hoth and he rescues um, Torin Far and the medical droid from a wrecked ship on Hoth him and Forlum by the way the coat is not removable and underneath the coat he's not wearing anything apart from the coat and boots and he's only got two fingers and one thumb look at the back of the figure more details on the head And then the hoses or wires, there's a that piece here with control panels for his breathing apparatus. Here's the more detail of the jacket. Back of the belt. And And there's the belt hardness. So yeah, one of my favourites. I would give him possibly an 8 out of 10, only if he had a ball joint head. If he had a ball joint neck, he would be a 10. Unfortunately, it's only swivel. So he only gets a 8 out of 10. Is Blast Rifle. Well detailed figure. High end. If you don't have the money for Hot Toys, I would recommend these older 12 inch Star Wars figures. Although Circus is quite hard to find, Dengar is easy to find. I think he's the easiest bounty hunter to collect out of this range. The rest are quite hard to find. So yeah, this has been a video from Killer Lincoln Part 1, hope you've enjoyed this video and goodbye.